Now we just have to erase the lines. This is our making our face. And as you can see, here's the layout. You first draw a perfectly, a perfectly good circle or like right there. Then you use the two lines to come down on the side of the face. After that, you just mark an edge on the line and then another one on top of it. You erase those lines, you go down with the chin in a circular, and then you could either leave these lines for where the face markings are or just erase it like I am doing here. Even after it's erased, you can still partially see it. So you can use these as a reminder for where the face. Yeah, I can still partially see it. There. Now you just need to add some facial features. Um, if you're doing this the way I'm doing for my school project, you're going to need something to split the face down in the middle. I'd use a book. And then you just, as you can see, I didn't get it perfectly good. So I made another line beside it to even it out. Then you can use that one in the middle too. Now you have to do the features. Here I have the hair on one side. And the other side you're just going to leave blank for now. So you're going to want to know where the features are. The eyes are about right there. The mouth is right there. The nose right there. I have an eye. We're going to do the other features, and then we're going to make it more realistic after we have the basics in. There's the lips. They may look a little weird for now. Because uh, we only have one side. Um, I haven't finished the eye yet. I just went on the lips and went kind of trying to do realistic. Okay, and there's the nose. It's kind of tiny because, you know, there's this thing down the face. Reminder, it doesn't it doesn't matter how your art looks. Everyone's art is different and it's special in your own way. So, yeah. Um I'm finishing up the little details on the side. And remember you got to do the little eye corners there. Did some better details on the eye. Got to get them lashes in. Okay, got the other lashes. Okay, there it is. Um, I get some good shading. You probably can't see it on the camera. Uh, I made the eye really good. Better face shading. Doing some hair up there. Go crazy with the hair. Do whatever your own hair looks like. It doesn't matter. Really. Uh, I don't know what happened. I can't even see the br- Oh my gosh. I can see it so much better now. Anyways. Um, you're gonna go shade around the edges so the outline doesn't, uh, you don't see the outline too much and it doesn't ruin the hairline. Once you've done the basic hair, use broader strokes to fill it in. I think it's time where we, it's about that time, where we have to make the neckline for this. And the part in the middle will help you define where the necklines are. Just like a centimeter away from each. The neck kind of like, you know, it doesn't look completely perfect because, you know, half of their face is not done and they have this split in the middle of their face. But we'll save that for later. By the way, this is you and not some other person, so I'm just drawing myself. You don't have to copy me exactly. Draw you how you are. Anyway. Um, so the shoulders, flat shoulders, curved shoulders, I did flat, but wh however you want to do it. 
put the line straight down. We might j change this later, depending on what your body shape is. Now we can fill in the little hairs where the gap was, because now we know where the neck is. Like I said, once I get a light sketch, then I go over with darker color. Exactly like that, and if your hair does have ends, which mine does, let the hair fade out at the end of the ends. You don't want it to be too jagged. Of course, we finished the part of what our face looks like. Now we either do this or this. This is not your face. This is basically your personality. And then you can just do whatever you want here. Uh, I'm going to put... You can either do a curved collar or a V-collar or whatever type of shirt you want on. I'm just going to copy one of my designs I made. Uh, this part is taking me multiple tries to get a perfect circle like I did on the other one. I'll be right back. This was my final result. It's not what I expected at first, but it's pretty cool. Please don't copy it or anything. Anyway. So, this was the original. Yeah. So, you're doing your personality. And this was the original. I was trying to copy it. And I ended up making this. And I'd say it's a pretty cool design. I wonder if we can get this made into some actual clothing one day. I sharpen up some of the lines there, as you can see. Of course, gotta add the hips. This may all apply to you, but not necessarily. Uh, the audience could be also be male. It depends on what you're gonna do with your character, if they're male or female. Let's go ahead and erase the afterlines so it doesn't get in the way of our final character there but you can still kind of see the line so that's a bit bothering but it won't really matter in the final product so now that we've probably finished up here and here with the realism let's go to this side and do our personality so you're gonna do whatever you want you're pr probably gonna draw more cartoony eyes and more than realistic I don't really know what this is. I'm going for a cute thing, though. Aw, it's so cute. But we need the teeth, don't we? Look at those demon fangs. Mm. Just kidding. This is actually going to be a cat. My cat, in fact. They are so handsome. Look at their little ear. I, I mean, big ear. Let's just erase that line there. Here we go. Do the inside. Uh... What? You want me to do what? Okay, you want seriously want me to shade in this side now? Here we go. Tips for the edges of shadings of these cat ears. You don't want to go straight lines, you want to just go in circles. Here we are. And yes, I'm doing this in real time. This is not pre-recorded videos. I pause and then I play when I'm ready. So, who knows how long this actually took me. You're just watching it in the minutes. And I brimmed out the whiskers a little more so they're more visible. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just drawing a loading sign around their head because, you know, cats. <laughs> you know. I'm not really sure if that looks like a loading sign, but okay. Just. I just did this, like, the things coming out of their head. Like, that's, that's the, I don't know, coming out of their head. That's their personality. There's a gear. And that's the thing that makes their brain work. That's why they're loading. Yo, I think I'm a pro at trading over here. Like, actually. <laughs> Look, it does match really well. Also, it's Halloween month. So, yes. I think this is going to be a new character I made. I don't know, guys. Did I just make it scary or do you like it? I'm not done yet, though. Gotta add some things in here that I like that are part of my personality. I just sharpened up the shoulders a little, made another gear. Uh, I did some darker shading and add a little bit of a curve to the face to make it less straight and better. I don't know a word for that. Accurate. Also sharpened up the gears a little. It's looking really good so far. 
Most people don't do art because they're afraid they'll mess something up, but if you don't do it, you don't even have a chance to mess it up, so... Just get going. Also, if you mess it up, you just make it part of the art piece. I like crystals, so I'm gonna draw one. First, I just did a little heart. Um, here. Randomly. I drew little thingies. It's supposed to be radiating love. Radiating love? I don't know. <laughs> I did this to the gear because, like I said, if you mess up something, which I did, I put a mark where I accidentally put a mark, and I just incorporated it into the art piece. I have the basic crystal here. I had to switch pencil. R.I.P. Now we have the little, uh, line bases. I don't know what they're called. There it is. Now I'm just going to draw a normal cat on the other side of here. Here we have it. Now let's outline it. And I made a drastic mistake, but again you can see that I just made it into the art piece. Then I just do a strawberry over him, now he's a strawberry cat. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> there! <sighs> Why am I always having to talk to myself in these videos if there's no purpose on uh, who, who, who is supposed to be there that I'm talking to? I don't understand why I'm, I'm making these. Because that's what you're supposed to do. I don't want- Wait, is that thing on? Is it recording? It was, you were gonna be in so much trouble for this. And I finished outlining the strawberry. There, as you can see, it's a normal strawberry. There's nothing weird about- about this drawing or or this video uh oh uh, yeah everything's normal here yeah so i'm i'm i'm, I'm just going to get back to drawing i i think i'm going to draw an error sign like error because there was a loading sign, so I'm gonna draw error. And that they, ha that they haven't finished loading yet. Finish it up. Uh, okay. You're not doing it good enough. Uh, okay, okay. And after you're done, I need you to edit, edit that video before you post it. And make sure you edit out that part. If I found you posted that part, you'll be... No, you need to make it better. What do you think we have an audience for? If the views are just going to... Okay, guys, I have the text box or the window page layout done. Do you think it... Do you think it looks good? Do you think the... Uh, do you think the... Do you think it looks good, guys? Do you think my my art looks good? Is it or is it bad? Do you, do you all hate my art? Ho hopefully, you think it's good. Anyways, that's done. I'm gonna put the text in now and try to make it look as much computer as possible. Finish it up already. You have to go faster. You only have 10% left on battery. Did you see that window pop up? Uh, yeah, you, you have to finish it now. Okay, guys, so I've made this. And now I just have to... F I, ha I have to finish doing the... Uh, I'll be right back. Are you stupid or something? Can't you get... Can't you even get the words right or just- Yeah, the outlining is what I meant. The outlining. Oh, my hand is shaking. 
Here's the final.